gentlemen, welcome to Quarantine Etiquette with the Raw Butler and the Raw Actions, episode 13. Now, a request that came in uh, from one of the followers was, could we see how to lay out black tie the correct way for a gentleman? And this is what I'm now going to demonstrate. It's quite a straightforward process, but there's a certain way of doing it. And I'm going to demonstrate this, and then Shumba is going to show you how he lays out his uh, evening um, black tie as well. So that should be quite interesting. When laying out the black tie, obviously you take the trousers off the hanger and exactly as they've come off the hanger, you're going to place them on the chair like that. Then you're going to get the dress shut and you're going to place this on the chair. You're going to make sure all the buttons have been undone. This just makes it easier for putting it on. And then you're going to open it out like that and let it drop to the floor so the gentleman can come in, pick it up and put it straight on. You can, if you wish to really impress, uh, as a butler would do, you want to impress the gentleman, you could put the cufflinks in one side of the cuff so that when it comes to the gentleman putting the shirt on, it's then only one side he's then got to fasten. This can only be done as long as you know which cufflinks and studs they wish to wear. It's very much a personal choice. The jacket you want to put on the back of the chair, like that. Then you're going to place the shoes down just in front of the shirt. Make sure that you have removed the shoe trees Obviously, again, it's easier for the gentleman to then put the shoes on. The socks go on top of the shoes there. They've been folded the way that I demonstrated in one of the other episodes. Then on top of the shirt, you're going to put the boxes. And then just to this side, you'll put the handkerchief. And then the bow tie, which will be in the jacket inside pocket. There we go. That then gets opened out and just placed over the jacket like that. The reason it's done like this is because obviously the gentleman will put on his underwear, he will then put on his socks, he will put on his shirt, he will then put on his trousers, he will then sit down to put his shoes on, he will then stand to do his bow tie and then lastly put his jacket on. And then the last thing to be added is the silk scarf which I place just over like that because then the gentleman knows exactly where to find it. So Shumbi, you've seen how I lay out the black tie. Can I now get you to demonstrate how you lay your black tie out or whatever it is you're going to wear and then could you maybe demonstrate how to, to wear it as well? I think we would all love to see that. Wonderful, teddy bears. Yes, um, I thought it was kind of black tie, but so, so why why the teddy bears? Okay, right. Well, are you are you going to now put it on so we can see what it looks like? Shumbi, you look absolutely splendiferous. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you have seen exactly how to lay out your black tie. I think now all of us can put black tie on when we have our dinner parties in the evening, as I've now shown you how to lay your table. And the ladies, of course, will wear their wonderful ball gowns and perhaps even tiaras. Hmm. Shimba, should we now go down for evening drinks? Should I put my black tie on? In that case, it's time to get changed. Ah, perfect. Right, Shumba. I think it's time to go downstairs for dinner. Will we have a gin and tonic, Shumba, or a champagne? Yes, I thought so as well. Gin and tonic. So it's gin and tonics all round, I believe. 